Uh, Mario, can you show us around and explain where we are and uh, what we see? Yes, we are in uh, this beautiful valley, the Jovenko Valley. And we are removing five dams uh, along uh, the Jovenko River. We uh, have identified these uh, five barriers uh, in the upper course of the Jovenko. And uh, now, finally, we are, we are removing them. Our uh, goal is to rewild uh, this area, which is already wild, but we want to make better. What organization do you work for? And how did your organization uh, get involved into uh, barrier removal? I work for uh, Rewilding Apennines, uh, and uh, our organization uh, is uh, determined to rewild the landscape. And that's why we are also focused on them removal, because we want to uh, restore uh, river connectivity. And why did you choose specifically this uh, fight? barriers to get out. We chose those barriers because they are uh, actually impeding uh, the free flowing of this river. By removing them, we will open up 11.2 uh, kilometers of river. And uh, in my opinion, it's quite a strong motivation to do that. And did you perform any uh, pre-demolition surveys before starting the work here? Sure. Before starting the works, uh, we have carried out several uh, monitoring. We came uh, here, we actually surveyed the um, a community of uh, fish uh, or uh, let's say even uh, macroinvertebrates uh, living in the river and also we estimated the potential risks uh, connected to the demolition of the dams and all of these surveys prove uh, extremely positive that uh, dam removal was uh, necessary and we hope that uh, of course it, it will pay off did you perform any or are planning to perform any habitat restoration after the the dam and costs uh, yes, we are uh, thinking to actually monitor the evolution of the fish uh, community and in general the uh, community of uh, animals in the river. And we would like also to uh, reintroduce the crayfish, which was in uh, this river and that disappeared. Did you face any challenges during the removal? And could you highlight any lesson that you learned from this process? Well, it's quite a long uh, bureaucratic process. Uh, that, that was the main challenge. Uh, and uh, we had to learn uh, how to go through this uh, difficult process. So that's the main uh, lesson learned. Actually, how to start and how to get to the dam removal. But, uh, you know, uh, at a certain point, it was a kind of dream. Uh, then we thought it couldn't uh, happen. And now seeing that it's happening uh, makes us think uh, that the dream has come true and sometimes it's even unreal uh, you know it really it was a long process it took three years and at a certain point really we thought that we had to give up and what ben benefits do you expect from these uh, removals of course it's very sad when you walk around uh, this valley you see a river which is in prison in uh, human uh, facilities and uh, by doing this we expect that the whole uh, uh, valley will change the river will uh, uh, get back some uh, spaces that people have uh, actually taken from it. And we are very curious to see the development, the evolution of the water course uh, now that finally can uh, slow free. How was the project received by the public? Well, the public opinion in uh, Pisenia received it uh, quite well. We are in the municipality of Pisenia and we had several meetings with uh, local stakeholders. And we are also in the Abruzzo, Lazio Police National Park. This authority has a plan also to restore rivers. And that's why we combine forces. Okay, and are there more such barriers in your region? Are you planning to repeat some of them? Yes, um, we have plenty of these barriers. Uh, a few years ago, we uh, counted more than 300 uh, in the whole uh, Central Apennine landscape. And uh, we are identifying the uh, most important to bring down and reconnect uh, rivers.